Hey boys and girls, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Uh, if you follow my channel, you will have seen the video I posted, well, I posted it this morning, today, uh, on my brand new 2019 Camaro 2SS1LE. Uh, the 2SS is the top trim package for the, F the SS. The 1LE is the track package, more or less. And uh, I'm about to do the basically new new car prep and detail i did not have the dealer do it i bought this car at wesley chapel chevrolet in wesley chapel florida uh, i will link actually I'll, I'll put my sales guys information in the description like i did the other video but this is the uh very well I, i'm i'm saying rare because it's a new color for 2019 but beyond that they only are producing a limited amount of cars in this color, uh, but it's only for the second half of the 2019 model year. I had to order this car. I special ordered it exactly how I wanted it. Uh, this car for a uh, Camaro SS has every option except na uh, factory nav and the sunroof. I didn't want either one of those. It does have Android Auto, which is what I prefer anyway, using Google Maps on my phone. Uh, and then um, I specifically wanted the 19 because I prefer this front end over the 16 through 18. Now that's subjective. You know, there are a lot of people online who just hate this uh, front end. There's a hell, there's a lot of people online who have been uh, complaining about this color, but uh, this is the only color that caught my eye. Um, I do like a couple of them, but for a sports car, I feel like, you know, and, and my personality, this is definitely the best option for me, this shock color. Uh, so it comes with the 1LE wheels, uh, the upgraded Brembo brakes. Uh, you'll notice the brakes actually say 1LE. On the interior, it has the Recaro seats. I did get the performance data recorder uh, which, oh, that sticker's on the inside. Uh, the performance data recorder camera is right there in the front. Uh, because I got the upgraded trim, the 2SS over the 1SS, I really lost some value there. There's some overlap in um, features. But uh, overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. Uh, I actually got the 2SS over the 1SS because I wanted the blind spot monitoring. Uh, and this has that, but... The 1LE and the 2SS both upgrade uh, to the heads-up display, which this has. Uh, so both of them overlap. Both trims overlap that feature. Um, what else is it? Oh, the dual-mode exhaust. Both the 2SS and the 1LE uh, give you the dual-mode exhaust the NPP dual mode exhaust where you can either have it flowing straight which for more noise or there are actuators in there which right there are the actuators uh, which basically open and close that second pipe so you can make it not as noisy if you don't want. I also prefer the rear the, the tail lights for the 19 over the 16 through 18. And then they also made a little, a new body line on the bottom of the rear bumper. Uh, as well as, like I said, the whole front end uh, has the flow tie, they call it, instead of the bow tie. Notice you can uh, stick your fingers in there. That was kind of dirty. I just realized that. I apologize, but it is what it is. They call that the flow tie, not the bow tie. If you'll notice my 2018 Silverado actually has the bow tie. You can't stick your fingers in that one. Uh, so a lot of the guys like that better. Um, if you saw these, if you were at SEMA for 2018, or if you've seen it online, you'll know that with the front redesign uh, for 2020, Chevrolet is supposed to be sticking with this bumper, but this part is painted body color and they moved the flow tie into a regular bow tie, but they put it back up top here. I actually prefer this 
over the 2020 design that we have saw that I'm pretty sure is going to happen, uh, and also the 16 through 18. So I like that this is unique. I prefer this front end uh, fascia look as well as the uh, smoked taillights in the back. Uh, also the third brake light is smoked out, which is pretty cool. Uh, I also like the black bow tie in the back versus the gold one. I just prefer the 19 look over the 16 through 18 and uh, what they planned on doing for 2020. Anyway, long story short, 2019 2SS1 LE. Um, it is pretty dirty. There's a lot of just rail dust and that kind of stuff uh, on the paint. And I know that because I just installed these uh, spoiler corners here and then uh, this one here uh, I did not have the dealer do it I did not have the dealer prep it all I did was have the dealer do their normal uh, check the fluids and that kind of thing to make sure it was good to go they also filled it up with gas then they parked it when I bought the car or when I picked it up a couple days ago it had nine miles on it so I don't know where those nine miles went, but it is what it is. Anyway, I prepped properly. Uh, so what I mean by that is I cleaned underneath uh, this corner cap really well. And then I clay barred underneath it because it had some contaminants after I cleaned it that weren't coming off. Uh, I got all the contaminants off. Then I wiped the uh, paint down with my universal clean and prep from my one system. And then I was able to remove the double-sided tape uh, uh, the backing and then I stuck them on there were foam pieces that come with the kit uh, but I didn't want to use them it seemed to leave too big a gap so anyway I just eyeballed it until it looked right so um, there's less of a gap than there would be if you followed the rules or if the dealer installed however um, I prefer it to look just like that so so I installed those and I'm about to detail it up Thanks guys for watching. Again, this paint color is called Shock. Uh, and if you've got questions for me, leave it in the comments below. Uh, and uh, check out my group on Facebook. Check me out on Instagram at gary.dean.35. That's G-A-R-R-Y dot D-E-A-N dot 35. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. And check out DetailJuice.com for all of your detailing product needs.